this is widget. Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Vijit from AJSD. So th those who are joining for the first time, we'd like to give a brief introduction. This is our peer education session. This is a part of our AJSD training program. Here we assign technical topics to trainees and they will prepare the topic here and they'll present us. So this will help the trainees to improve their communication and presentation skill. Same way, it also helps visitors like us to re revisit on the technical topics. At the end of the session, we have a question and answer session so we can discuss about the particular topic. Now let me ask Manoj Kumar to take the stage and explain about connected apps in Salesforce. Over to you, Manoj. Yeah, thank you, Vijit, giving me that opportunity. So, I also, good, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, according to your respective time zones. Thank you for being here. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Manoj Kumar And for those who know me, hello again. Today, I'm going to explain uh, Salesforce or to our integrations using connected app. So, what is connected? Means in this, after completion of this uh, PPT, so what we learned? We learned like uh, uh, how to create connected app, how to create uh, uh, authentication provider and how to use it, how to create name credential and how to use it, how to integrate Salesforce or with the other Salesforce or and how to create Salesforce REST API and how to make REST API callouts in Salesforce. So before uh, going to further, uh, uh, in your mind, what is connected app? So connected app is a applications. Uh, using that applications, we can build a bridge between two or uh, like a, it is a permanent connections using authentication provider. So if you created any connected app in targeter, we can we get that customer key and the customer secrets. So that two things we need to uh, means uh, implemented in auth provider. So it will uh, whenever auth provider we click that uh, save button. So it will be make a bridge like a permanent connection between two or two. And without any like uh, restriction, we can flow that our uh, one or two data to another one. That is the uh, mostly used in through connected app. So the next step is how to create a connected app. So there is a step like go to setup and quick find box, then app managers. So let me show you how. Because like uh, I already created a connected app because uh, it takes timing to replicate that things. It will be take 10 minutes time. So let me explain how it will be. Like this is, uh, we need to go to the setup and in quick find box, we need to search for app managers. In the uh, if you search app manager, so in the top right corner we can get that uh, there is a button for new connected app. So if you click that, so the it will come in this pages. So we need to fill up what we need to enter. So I need to enter your sandbox. This is the naming. Whatever your aim up for the further use, I provided this email ID. So next step is we need to enable the both settings. So in the PPT also, I mentioned that things. You can show that up this page will be appear, but we need to fill up. Enter the name of the applications, enter the your email number, email, and and any further information suitable for your applications. And enable auth setting. So after auth setting, what we need to fill up. So in that auth setting, we need to fill up a callback URL and is selected auth scope. So let me show you how. So in this callback URL, initially we need to implement a dummy URL. For that purpose, I save in here. That is a dummy URL for, for me. So control C. That is a dummy URL. We will be changed for uh, will be changed later on this dummy URL after getting the genuine URL. That callback URL after getting callback URL. We will be changed that. And what are the 
things we need to select the selected also so for right now i am selected the three things one is full access another is like manage user data with via api and another is perform request access at any time the three things i selected and the remaining are you just kept as always whatever there whenever it clicks there it will be take 10 minutes time so for for that i already created because of that i already created connected app After clicking save, this button will be appear. So uh, let me explain it a bit out. So after clicking save, it will be take 10 minutes. So after save it, it will be appears like this type of page. So here what we need to you know, we need to click a manage customer details. So if you click the manage customer details, we can uh, get that customer key and customer secret. So for, if I click that, if I click that, we will be get this type of page. So uh, means as per your email ID, they send like OTP verification. We need to insert that and we need to paste it and we need to verify that. After verify, we will be get customer key and customer secret. Let me show you that. So here is the manager customer details. If I click this, it will be redirect to like uh, whatever email you have. And as for that, we, uh, they send like OTP. We need to implement that OTP. This is my OTP, so I click verify. After that, we get that customer key and customer secret. So we need to save that for further user, further use. So here also I mentioned that copy into in notepad for further use. So then click cancels. So we need to click cancels. And I need to show here. Huge. So after click cancel, we need to click manage. Let me explain that why we go for manage. So after click this, we need to click manage. In that manage, if you click that, this page will be appear, the second page. So in that page, we need to click edit policy. And in that edit policy, there is a IP relaxation field is there. We need to change that relax section. So relax IP relax section. Then click save. After complete this, all the things, the uh, uh, configuration part of co completed in targeter. So this is our targeter and this is our source. So if I click manage, so there is an edit policy button is there. So again, I need to click that edit policy button. Whenever I click, I got that IP relaxation field. So here I need to change Initially, it will be enforced IP restriction. We need to change it. Relaxation IP restrictions. Then you need to save it. After saving, the uh, uh, target or configuration part is done. We need to cover further uh, uh, configurations. We need to do in the source. Order. So this is the step two. Step two, what is the create? create an auth provider in source. So here, how we create? 
So go to the setup, send, go to the find box and uh, in the quick find box, we need to search our provider, then click new. So let me show you. This is our provider. Whenever I click our provider, So I need to, then I need to click new. So it will be uh, come to the it, it is asking provider types. So if you click that, there is a so many options uh, uh, to whom you go to connect LinkedIn, Google, GitHub, Facebook, Apple. So right now in my topic is self host to self host connection. So I just selected self host. Here I need to mention naming here. is our we connect to target authorization I, I, I naming is a target so here uh, I told like we need to save that customer key and customer secret for further use so here we are going to use that so we need to copy that Okay, sorry, I, I, I need to do again that question. So here I click the Oh, here's customer key. The customer secret. So then it will be asking to authorize endpoint URL and token endpoint URL. So we need to fill up that things. So here, let me explain what how we need to. So I'll, so here they ask like authorize endpoint and token endpoint URL. So let me explain that uh, if you are uh, using that uh, developer edition, so in, you need to fill up these first ones. If, sorry, if you're using that sandbox, then you need to like test.selfhost.com. Same for the token endpoint. So we need to fill up the two lines in that uh, respective fields, uh, authorize endpoint URL and token endpoint URL. Here we need for this I already saved in the files. So for so and what are the remaining things we need to that that much only we need to fill up and remaining as you did we kept it after click save what we get after click save buttons will be get this space in this space callback url we are getting so initially whenever we created uh, like i created the tar in the target or the we, I created the connected apps. So on that time, I told like in the callback URL right now, I'm just putting that dummy URLs. We need to change later on. So here we are getting that callback URL. So that URL we need to paste in connected app. So we are getting this callback URL here. So we need to copy that and we need to go to connected app. that connected up we need to click the edit and in that callback url we need to change save 
seven. So it will be take again 10 minutes to replicate that things. So leave that. We will be do whatever we need to do in that. It will be showing that. Now you can show that the callback error is changed to whatever we get in authorization provider, in authorized provision. So after did this, whatever we need to do, we need another setting we need to do, that is remote site setting. In that remote site setting, we need to store endpoint URLs of the target or so if we click this, let me explain in PPT. So after saving, after copy this, we need to do that remote site setting. Remote site setting for this, to configure the remote site setting, navigate to the target organization and search for my domain setting. And copy that current my domain URL and prefix it with HTTPS colon double slash to ensure that correct configurations. So let me do that thing. Need to go the target or we need to search here. My domain click it. This is my domain. So I need to copy this. And in the remote site setting, whenever I click target, what is target or what? So here we need to paste. And we have to copy it. So save it. So this configuration part also done to remote share settings. After this, so in the step stream, we need to create a name credential using auth provider for authentication in social. So to go to the create name credential, same thing to go to center in quick find box, search name credential. There is a new drop down and new legacy. Let me show you that thing. We need to search a name credential. In the name credential, we can do two ways. So one way is like uh, I am using the new legacy. Uh, other than you can use the external credential, you need to create external credential, name principles, then we need to create a name credential. But here I am going through new legacy. This is the drop down, new drop downs, and click that new legacy. Whenever I click the new legacy, so it will be asking this much of fields, whatever things we need to do here. So fill the details in the name credential form, in the label. And name as per your wish. URL the, here asking URL. URL means your instance dot dot com. So what is the two difference? I'll be show you. So here I'm providing name credential name is. Target for what is this name? URL. We need like target or URL here. So here they say like the lightning force is at the end means it will be wrong. So if you go to this is our target. Or if you click this. You can saw that uh, after develop, there is a dot lightning force dot. So if you copy this and paste it here and paste it here, it will be wrong because we don't want lightning dot force uh, force dot comes. 
here what we need we need like a dot my dot cell post dot com if you go to the my ppt also i clearly mentioned that what what is the correct way like my.selfhost.com is the correct way, not that lighting.force.com. So after that, here they're asking that identity type. Identity type I selected as a name principles. And here in the authentications, we are using auth2. So after selected auth2, we already created a authorization, authentication provider. So we need to select that authentication. So I select that. In that scope, we need that refresh token full. Initially, you can saw that right now that uh, authentication status is pending. Okay. So we need to check few more fields like uh, gen generator authorization header. This is always checked. We need to select that uh, allow merge fields HTTP header and allow merge fields in HTTP body checked. So we need to check two things. Again, if I click this save, what happens? If they click this save, after saving it, it will be rewrite to login page for authentication. So here, just enter the target of credential and login. Manaj, your, your voice is breaking. Can you check your... Okay, right now also? Yeah, now it's okay. Okay, so after saving, should be redirect to... Manoj, have you done the remote yeah. check? Ah, yes, uh, I done that remote check. Check the things it will be. Yeah, whenever it will be coming, uh, we need to mention here. Uh, like target or credentials. So my target or credential is this. So I'm just selected and logins. After I click logins, it should be again asking me allow. So if I click that allow buttons, again, it will be redirect to sourcer. Even if I enter the target or URL, it will be login uh, means redirect to sourcer. And uh, after this means we can display as a authentication status as a authenticated. So let me show you that authentication status. Now it will be show a, showing a authenticated as a techtelis at the rate uh, techwish.com. Means this is this is my uh, target of URL. So it will be authenticated now. 
so now that uh, configuration part is done now we need to do uh, coding part so let before coding part i need to explain what is web service and what is call out so uh, we need to write a web service in targeter and we need to write a call out in in a source so target arguments uh, like uh, why we write web service in target i uh, mean someone asking our data and we need to sending our data so that is a web service so using the rest resource means define a restful web service endpoint for assessing account record so we are providing a address to them so let's let's try in our uh, target or I already created a class. This is our targeter. So in the targeter, we need to uh, do write a web service. So web service always the global access means that uh, class access modifier should be global. And here we need to mention. Rest resource. After that, we need to make URL. Mapping. Here, yeah, uh, which will we? I uh, mean, which object we want? We want account. Me, account. Need to mention the classes and asterisk means it will be uh, like we it will be we can take any parameters after that for this purpose we write asterisk so after that we need to create a method for method we need to write uh, means whenever we write a web service we need to mention with in a methods like we are using get method here so for get method we need to write HTTP get method enter. Here also we need to mention global class. Static. Here uh, we are returning a uh, list of account. details Number. So our uh, web service program is it's done. We need to save it. Then we need to write 
call out programs. Right? So this is a call out programming. So here we are just uh, sending a request to provide that account details. This also. Yeah, what we need, we need to write a follow. -up. Details. Uh, Manoj, you can copy paste the code, Manoj. Uh, okay. Yeah, now we can just explain. That will be better. Yeah, okay. This is my different error. I already tested here. So explaining the things. So here, first, uh, like, uh, uh, we need to write a method. Uh, so the method should be void. Uh, and we, we should mention that future method. So we can call that it in asynchronously. So here we're using that endpoint. So in that endpoint, uh, like, uh, before that endpoint, we are creating a channel. So this is a communication channel. So in that channel, uh, in the so using that communication channel, we are sending that request. So then we need to create a request object. So in that request object, what we, what we need to send as uh, like this is endpoint URL that things target or provide us their SS. So in that address. We, we need to request them. What we need to request them? You are here uh, requesting two things like content type and accept. Whatever we uh, request as a content type and whatever they send, we are receiving as a accept type. So we need to write a two header. header. And uh, what we need, like we need their uh, data only. So here we are using get methods. So uh, after that, we need to uh, send a request. And that request we need to response. So here two things is will be get after uh, whatever the response code and whatever the res response body. So uh, status course means whatever the uh, like uh, response code, and in that body whatever uh, like we are asking they need to provide that things we will be get here using that get body. So uh, let me uh, execute that we can so how we will be get. For this, uh, to call that code, we need to go to uh, open execute anonymous window. Then we need to write a class name and method name, and then we need to call. So this is my class name, Salesforce integration callout, and this is my method name. So. We need to and call this. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Manoj. In line number eight, yeah. uh, endpoint uh, URL, right? So you can explain from where did you copy that endpoint URL? Okay, the, the oh, sorry, sorry, missed that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for it. Yeah. That, that is call out sandbox URL. Uh, sandbox out means this is my name credential name. So here we store already that endpoint URL and the session ID 
and the session uh, sorry in uh, the customer key and the customer secret we already store here so we write these things and this service you are using the service and asking for account details so this is the endpoint uh if you uh, i can show you This is my uh, name credential uh, name. Here we already stored that URLs and the session, uh, sorry, customer key and customer secret. So that things we are using here in the endpoint. So uh, like we are sending, this is the address. In that address, we are asking account details. So here uh, after that, uh, that header means uh, uh, like uh, we can say that uh, the first header, that means it will be a uh, like we uh, this is a content type means in the http request we are sending uh, so uh, like uh, we are asked uh, means uh, it will be sent our data in a json format okay uh, like our request and in the second uh, header it will be accept so whatever we get for same things we are uh, receive in a json format so we are accept in a JSON format. That thing is. So here it will be mentioned that you UTF-8. What is this thing means? This is a like, a, uh, uh, like we can say that uh, it will be like uh, ensure that any text uh, textual data that should be uh, like uh, we can encode it and decode it in the proper way. For this purpose, we write that UTF-8. So that thing's only. And let me execute that code. So I'll be executing it. After executing, because we are running this code in a asynchronous, so we need to select that future handler. So if we click that, we'll be getting that account numbers here. So why it will be only account numbers means uh, here I am. Uh, in that, uh, like uh, here, I am doing that. I'm sending only account number. If you saw that, uh, these things I already written, this is only that account number. I only provided account number here. So that's why whenever I call, I'll be get only account number. Okay. So let me show you yeah thank you from my side that is you have any questions yes. yeah it's good uh, manoj and i just want to check about this one how about the external data source and the external object we'll be using so instead of uh, web service we can use that right uh could you uh, tell me again what? No, ex uh, I mean, like, generally, we have, like, uh, cross SARG adapters. This one, uh, now we have used the connected app, authentic, uh, I mean, like, authorized provider, and the web service, right? HTTP call. Yes, yes. Without means, uh, like, in call out, uh, there is a, in remote side setting. Uh, so, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, we need to mention that uh, uh, endpoint URL directly. And... Mm -hmm. And also we need to mention that uh, like uh, uh, in set header, we need to mention that authorization and, and that session ID. Uh, means uh, in target or session ID, we need to mention here. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. In set, set header, we need to, like we already authorized in uh, authorized provider. So if you're not doing in that way, we can do other way also. But uh, for this, we need to write a set in that endpoint URL, we need to write a, a copy that all URL from the target all we need to paste mm -hmm. here. And in that set header, uh, another set header we need to write that is uh, like uh, uh, authorization and in that barrier, uh, barrier with the uh, session ID of that uh, target all. But what the problem is that uh, if you're using 
in manually means uh, like uh, every time we need to change that uh, authorization barrier key because whenever yeah. we log out and again logins that uh, session id will be changed every time so mm -hmm. to encounter to encounter that we need to means we need to go through connected app if you are doing that using connected app it will be a permanent connection okay got it Manoj, can I get some examples where you use this you know project or some um, disconnected uh, app? Have you used this? Uh, no, right now we are not using, but we are planning to do. Like uh, I'll be show you how we will be. Uh, it will be good. So in target or uh, in that every account, there is a account number is there. You open this. Here account number is there. So if you go to here, I created a LWC component. If I, if I enter that, this account number in targeter, this is in targeter. So in sourcer, if I search it, it will say account is exist in org B. So it, it will be like uh, going to the targeter and check there this account number is there or not, it will be showing that account which exists in RP. So we are planning like, a, uh, we need to show that GST number here and we need to check uh, in different app, is that GST number is there. We try to implement in our project. That thing is. Thank you, Manas. Any other questions, please? Uh... Yes, thank you, Manish. It's a, it's a teamwork. Actually, I need to thank Sheikh also. He was also part of this particular module. So thank you, team, for this wonderful presentation. All the best. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, Manoj, I just want to know, you have opened the target arc, source arc in the same uh, window, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Can you just uh, share your screen once? Okay. Yeah, here the left side was target arg and the right side was source arg. How did you do that? Uh, using like, uh, so there is options like, whenever you click is uh, like the air tab group is there. Need to do oh, more tab to the group. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah. yeah. I think it is not there in mine. Uh, in Chrome, it will be there. If you, this is Chrome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. New group, right? Yeah. It is in the Chrome, yes. not in the IE. Yep, super. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for participating. I mean, if you know, if you want to know more about this type of uh, presentation or training, you can reach out to support AJST team. Thank you. Bye. If you are interested to learn Salesforce, visit Egypt Skill Development website. There you can find our course curriculum and you can download the list of courses we offer. We are offering Salesforce Administrator and Salesforce Development courses. To know about us and the team, you can visit our About Us section. This is an organization we are doing a Salesforce signing from 2018 and we are trying to guide 2,000 plus candidates so far. And if you also want to know about our placement assistance, you see our placement assistance section where you can find a list of people, a category you can see, a list of people who got a client and page from our site. You can also visit their LinkedIn pages to get to know about our training and also the feedback from the relevant trainees. Okay. And also, if you want to do the code inquiry, click on contact us. You'll see the form. You can fill the form and 
समीट द इंक्वायरी और टीम विल गेट बैक टू अस थैंक यू